Good afternoon and welcome to my messy desk. I was just sat here making some journal word clusters and thought I would turn on the video. So I've been making these this afternoon, um, just trying to get things prepped for different, you know, for different embellishments and things like these. And these are journal word tags. I'll just bring them up. I hope that focuses. I purchased this kit. It's a downloadable one. I got it from Etsy from My Porch Prints last year. And I'd never used it. So I thought I would have a play. And what you get um, is you get this sheet with different circles on all in different patterns um and you get this sheet with words and some papers um it wasn't very expensive i think i bought it when they had a sale on um as i say i've never used it so i got out some of my journaling bits and, and thought we would have a play. So I've inked up most of the items. I'm only going to make a few on camera. Um, so I've cut them out. What I've done with the circles is I've actually die cut them because for love or money, even cutting round a circle shape with a pair of scissors, I can't do it. Um, they never end up as a circle. I've cut out some of the different shape tags. As you can see, I've printed them out quite a few times. I've cut out some of the words, but I also have other words there um, that I've got from various different kits of my porch prints. Um, I've got some beads, some ball pins, and some scraps over there. So... They're dead easy to make, but they're really, I think they're really, really effective. Um, so you just grab a circle and, you know, you rip some of the paper. I've started on this one. So you just rip pieces off for however you want it, make it all a bit, sorry, I'm out of camera, off camera. So you just rip the, pa the paper, I'm trying to make sure that I'm in camera, in amongst the mess. As you can tell, I am not a tidy crafter by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's probably a bit small. A bit smaller than I wanted anyway. Maybe that's a better piece. So once you've ripped it, just ink it up. I'm just using this tonic prit stick thing. I'm not sure I like it, but I've got it. So you just stick a bit down and then oh, grab one of my tags and a word. And I might put some more, I might put some of this word paper on okay I'm not being particular about it one good thing about this tonic is um, it does dry clear um, I've got some scraps of whatever here um, let me see what have I got I'll use a bit of this, some burlap. Ooh, don't want to lose them because I will use that. I'm going to rough up that edge just so I get the frayed look. And I'm going to stick that. over the paper there. I 
and I'm using Fabri-Tac, but you can use whatever glue you want. Art glitter glue works very well. Um, so I'm going to stick a button on there. Um, very dark here but then it is quite late now but well, it's gone half five so it's dark now um, and then all you do is you hold them together like that and you you make a hole i'm going to use this be very careful of using an awl um because you don't want to go through your fingers because they are sharp just having that bit of foam there or sponge as that is helps to um, protect your fingers a little bit and then I've put some beads on this one there we go that one's just got a fairy charm on there and then you can hang that off um, a journal page or a card or you know a present whatever but it's really really pretty and they're ever so easy to do you don't need a kit um you can you you know you can use the papers you've already got so i'm just gonna put them over there so we can see them but i've just covered half my stuff up now um, so we'll go ahead and do a couple more. Which one did I use? Some of these I've printed out on cards. Some I've printed out on paper. So they're the different ones there. But as I say, you could use... Oh, that's a nice one. That's the same one. Um, I've also got these words. These are family dictionary quotes. And these were from um, Shabby Dabby Doodah. Again, I've, I've had them a while. Um, I don't know whether I've purchased them or whether they were freebie. Um, I'm not really quite sure. Um, let's see what we got. Another word journal on that one. Trying to see what other words I've got. I've got a whole pile, but you wouldn't be able to see that because I've got that much junk. And you can add up as many of the different tags and things as you like, just to make them slightly different. Um, I haven't got a tag on that one. Yes, I have. I've got a tag on that one. Um, what other words? Friendship. That's a nice one, isn't it? I'm trying to do it so the circles are slightly different to the actual words and the tags. You don't want them all to be the same. Kindness. There we go. So we're just going to do these ones here. Um, as I say, it's only a, sh a small video, a short video. Um, I've also got this music paper, which I thought was quite nice. If you have book pages, you could use. Um, I have some butterflies there that I might fussy cut out um, and put some on some of them. You don't want your paper to be too big. But you don't want it to be small either. So, and you can put it either on the circle, or um, on the or on the actual tag. It's up to you. Clusters are a good way to um, use up scraps of material um, and papers and different things. Mm. 
I used to, I haven't done it for a while, but I often used to sit and make different clusters. And then they're there then if you need them or if you want them for something. Um, right, so each of them have got a piece of paper, each of them have got a word. So on this one, I think I'll put the, oh, dropped it. As I say, you don't have to be particularly tidy. Um, I've got some cheesecloth here. Find my scissors, because I've just lost them now in amongst all of that. I say this is cheap. I couldn't, I've got loads of cheesecloth, but it's stored in a different place. And this was a last minute thing that I wanted to do, so, and I didn't want to go and find it. So I just went into the first aid box and took a bandage. And all I do is rough it up a bit. Okay. Blob a bit of glue. Let's get a button. I did have a ruffle through my buff my button box to see what I'd got in there. So that one will be oh that one stuck to me. That'll be like that. So that looks that's got something attached to it or attached to it. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, stick the tag down. It doesn't have to be in any particular, you know, there's no right or wrong way when making clusters. I'm not going to attach... That word, I'm going to leave that word loose. What have I got here? I've got this very pretty um, burlap with dandelion clocks and flowers on it. It's very pretty. And again, I like it to be frayed. So I'm just fraying it up a bit. But, you know, they're great for using up your scraps. What colour button should we have on that one? Should we have a, a wooden one? Oh, and he stuck my button down upside, upside down. Right, that's my word. This, oh, that one is driving me mad. I've got some lace here somewhere. I haven't given that one a tag. Put that one a tag. I hope everyone's all right and had a nice day. What you've all been crafting. I'd probably do much better if I didn't to uh, make such a mess. I bet you everyone, are you all messy tidy, uh, messy crafters or are you tidy crafters? I'm definitely not in the tidy camp. Not at all. Oh, as you can tell. A bit lethal with the glue. I get it everywhere. It's, it's 
adjustments. I think it's me that's sticking to everything. I think I've got that much glue on my fingers that I'm sticking to everything. Let me see where my wet wipes are. Sorry about that, I have to lean over to get my wet wipes. I'll probably edit that out if I can. I'll do better once I've wiped my hands. As I say, I've got that much glue on them. I think everything's just sticking to me. So I'm trying to be quick in case my son comes home from work. Because um, as I said in a previous video, I do actually craft in the hallway under the stairs, like Harry Potter. But it suits me, and that's the main thing. Lost its word, inspire. So, you need a bit of material. And who else talked to the person, talked to the craft that they were actually working on? Or was that just me as well? No, I want a bit of colour on this one. Do let me know in the comments what you've been crafting today. If you have been or if you've been at work, you'll be crafting this evening. No point asking if anyone's got any plans. This, uh, lockdown takes care of that. Right. Let's see what buttons we've used. I haven't used a blue one. Mm. These will all dry clear, so I'm not too um, fussed. I think on this one. this wooden heart was I falling a tip here and the good thing about them being on these um ball pins is they actually move you know you can open them up so they're not restricted um, in any way so they're the ones we're going to finish now we've all got a button so I've got some here so that one can have that one that one can have that one Oh no, I might change that actually. Put that one over there. 
that one over there and I need one more so you've got a red one Ooh, drop that one and that one will go on there like that so and then I will tidy up my desk and I've done these and that will be me for the day. Start with the one nearest me. That would be the easiest thing. So as I say, I'm just going to make a hole. don't know if you can see. I hope you can. Um, just making a hole there. I hope I've not been off camera the whole time. That's the usual thing that I do. You make some space. Let's just push everything out of the way. That's the typical thing that I do. So I'm just going to put that one there. So let's do this one. You didn't have an awl you could use your um pokey tool it's the same thing it's just that this is longer that one then but that one's been stuck down hasn't it excuse the state of my nails I think most people in this country that do it, that usually have their nails done at a nail bar and now go and please open up again. I cannot wait. You just have a fiddle with them until you've got them in the positions that you want them to be. And so if you are using an awl or a pokey tool or something like that, do be careful because they are sharp. Ouch. So are the ball pins, as I've just found out there. All right. So they're the ones I'm just going to make with you today. Let me put my glue in that away. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that Tonic Studio. It's a bit... I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Let me glue away. All right, let me get a piece of paper and I'll show you the ones that I've made today or earlier. And put them all together. As I say, I'll just move some of the bits out. My rubbish out of the way. Because I am not tidy crafter hats off to anyone that is but that certainly isn't me and this is the usual state of my desk when I'm crafting with the, the rose on so they're the ones I've made 
So we've got that one. And it's got kindness, got a bead and a button there, some lace on that one. And these will look really nice attached to pages or, you know, cards or things like that or on ATC cards, anything like that. Um, so we've got that one. Um, I've got that one with Cherish on. I've got that one with friendship that one has the family tag from um let me do it that way scrub uh shabby dabby doo -da, and that says devotion to be dedicated to a person or activity and i thought that went well with cherish and the heart um and then we have graceful This one says faith and has the fairy charm on it. And that one says pretty. So there are they are the ones that I have made today. Um, I'll probably will come back tomorrow and make some more, um, but I am finished now for the day. Um, but do let me know what you think. Excuse the desk around the, around the outside. This is my usual type of crafting. This is what I do. I make a mess, um, but there we go. That's what I've made in this video made two prior and then i've made the rest on camera with you guys um so that's it for me today i will see you hopefully in my next video um if you're not already subscribed please um like and subscribe and press the bell for any notifications of when i upload a video um do let me know what you think of them and let me know what you've been crafting today and whether you are a tidy crafter and like me um, because as you can tell by the state of my desk, tidy crafter is, is definitely not a word that you would use to describe me. Um, that's it for me for now. Um, I'm going to go and have something to eat. I'm going to tidy my mess up first and then have something to eat and catch up on YouTube. Um, so I will see you in my next video. Guys, that's all that's left to say is stay safe and take care and bye for now. Hello, it's me again. I didn't finish for the night. I did go off and make another two. Um, so I've made that one and I've added a butterfly. Um, but I've also um, went and added the paper flowers that we either get from the works or um, hobby craft. Um, or I don't know where else I get that's where I get mine from um so I've added each a paper flower to all of them although I haven't added it to this last one that I made because I have actually put a burlap flower on that one and I didn't want it to have another flower on this one I again I've added a butterfly um there's quite a lot on this one but I've also added a butterfly charm onto that one um which i think just looks really really pretty so they are the ones that i have made um as i say as i said obviously i'm joining on to another video um as i said earlier in the video um do let me know what you think um which one's your favorite um i think mine would be this one with the butterfly or that one with the fairy um now i'm definitely gonna go and tidy my desk 
um so it doesn't look like this when i come back to craft tomorrow um so that's it for me for now bye for now take care and stay safe